Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to more Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. Last time, we unleashed the light onto the dragon, which did something. Um, yeah. This time, we're gonna fight it again, and we better bloody well beat it. Oh, also, uh, oh, right. Uh, let, let, let's just, um, do that before I forget. Okay. Also, well, my signature is okay. Okay, let's do this. Time for round two, punk. Okay. This never works, but we're gonna try it. Um. Oh, slow you down. Not using fire, Jenny. So, Cycle Beam, Flare Storm, Flare Storm might actually be better. <laughs> I wish I had the next level of Fume, actually, but, well, let's do this. And... Reduce Defense. Hmm. Oh yeah, you're strong against Earth, aren't you? I'm pretty sure that's the case. That is really just a really low defensive increase. Yeah, it only went... Wait, was it regenerating before? I don't even remember. But I know it had more moves than that before, so... I'll take it. Let's see... I mean, I'm not gonna be able to poison it, but you know, why not? Let's use... Iron. Let's use Aura. And let's try to blind you. Definitely weak against wind. Hmm. So far, so good. I did I don't think I blinded you though. Oh, you poisoned two people and you're healing yourself already. I don't know if that's a good- wait. Defense return to normal already? That was only two turns! Oi. Um... Let's see. Let's use you. Let's use... You, I guess. Let's... let's use Aura again. And you cure poison. On Jenna. Hmm. Okay. Looking good. Yeah, it definitely resists Earth, as I thought. Is he still healing itself, though? That is kind of annoying. But a lot less deadly <laughs> than last time. Uh, yeah, use Flora. You use... Sure, why not? Um, that frees you up for a Flare Storm. And you're going to use Cure Poison again. Hmm. Yeah, it's still going twice, but before it was going three times. And I'm pretty sure it was hitting harder as well. Hmm. This definitely feels a lot more doable to me. Although, I would be a little bit happier were it not healing itself on a... Well, a lot. As that regeneration as well, that's annoying. Hmm. Sure, do that, then I can use Flora again. Um, how many Earth Genie do I have? Three, I want one next turn. Yeah, okay, just use Ragnarok. You are pretty much free to do whatever you want. So, let's just try Fume. And you can get back to unleashing these guys. Um, let's see. 
Lowering resistance would be nice. Hmm. And I think it's. I don't think I have. Well. I did. Wait. No, I used that last turn. No, I'm still good. I barely overcame its healing, but I did, in fact, overcome its healing. Uh, use Flora again. Use. Man, I don't know. Ragnarok. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Yeah, use Ragnarok. You, on the other hand, are gonna use Aura. You are going to use... Shade. Which I probably should have done at the beginning, actually. But, you know, whatever. Hmm... Well, that definitely did a lot of damage. But it's still standing. Oh, it's not using synergy anymore. Maybe it ran out of synergy. But more likely, it's just this. <laughs> more likely not. <laughs> Frankly. Let's see, Moloch uses that, so. I guess I'll probably summon Boreas. You can just keep using the Ragnarok. You can just use Doom again. You are definitely going to summon Boreas. Hmm. Oh, okay. It's healing itself again. I mean, to be per perfectly honest, I was expecting that. As far as I am aware, it, enemies can't run out of synergy, so yeah. Eat the giant, eat giant ice shavings from the giant ice shaver, I guess. You know, the other day I was l looking at the animations for this, all the summons in Golden Sun from this game, but also from The Lost Age. Or, sorry, but also from Dark Dawn. And some of the Dark Dawn changes are good, but some of them are just don't have the same... Like, uh, what's the word I want? Mmm... What is it? Uh... Some of them just don't have the same, like, uh... Flavor? No, that's not it. Ugh. Anyway, some of them are just not the same in Dark Dawn, Bo and Boreas is one of them. He is the giant ice shaver. He shaves an entire glacier onto the enemy in this game. Not so much in Dark Dawn. Yeah, just use Dawn Dust. Hmm. Anyway, though. I think we're just about there. Black Ice. Man. Well, I guess we're not actually there yet. Oh. And it's still recovering. That's annoying. Oh, hey. I can use this again. Um. Yeah, I think it's probably my best interest to use Iron again. Use Healing Aura. And... Mm. Eh. I don't know if this actually does me much good. For now, I'll just use Diamond Dust. And of course, more Flora. Man, this is like my fourth summon. I mean, it's just getting a little bit ridiculous. It's not like I'm summon rushing it or anything, but even so. I guess even weakened, the serpent is not a slouch. 
Even so, though, I feel pretty confident that I'm getting close to it. Man, that took a lot of damage to Jenna. Hmm. Well... Restore... Sure. Let's go with that. Ragnarok... And... Aura. And... Let's see. Okay, I want to use Sour. Actually, let's use Fog this turn. It does... I know I can blind the dragon because I did it last time. So, tr blinding it would be nice. It would make it... Oh, hey, I killed it! We did it! <laughs> it looks like the dragon's in bad shape, but it doesn't seem like it's close to dying. Even though the servant's been defeated, I cannot rest. Be still, serpent, and I will grant you peace. And with this, Kushinata's life has been spared! You have my sincerest thanks. Where indeed? Ah. I mean, that seems pretty obvious, really. Okay. Ooh. Searches the slate. There is an inscription. Wielder of Earth's might, lay your hand upon this stone. I shall grant thee the power to melt into Earth. The power of sand! Gee, I wonder. Of course it's Felix. It's kind of weird that the Earth one flows like that, but I guess they all do. Hmm. In isolation it's weird, but as a part of a group it makes sense. Anyway, we have the power of sand now, which does this. Cool. Can we do anything over here? Oh! I did not even know that was there! Awesome! Okay, that that's pretty powerful. That is plus 27. That is plus more than 27. I think we have a winner. Shamshir. Not as good as the pumpkin mace. Whatever it is called. Hikebone mace. Although... Shiba can equip this. This increases her power by... What is that? Uh, five... No. Three... Twenty-three. Man, that, that took an embarrassingly long time. Uh, this lowers Pierce's power by ten. Yeah. Okay, that is worthwhile. Even though it does create a funny situation where Jenna actually has more power than Pierce, it is ultimately a superior weep on this way. So we're finally going to ditch the Staff of Anubis. Bit of a shame, it's a cool staff. But you know, it was going to happen eventually. I mean, even though we got it from an enemy, we did get it from an enemy pretty early on. Anywho, let's uh, let's use escape. Oh wait, you know, I just I just drew the connection. <laughs> oh, here's the thing about this sword. You, you know the legend about the uh, Orochi that I explained a few episodes ago? Well, the, when the Orochi was slain uh, by Susano, I think it was Susano. Anyway, when the Orochi was slain, inside his belly, Susano, I'm gonna say it is him, even if it wasn't, found inside his belly the sword Kusanagi. Um, which was not actually its name at the time, or even its full name now. I don't... look, it has a long name and more than one, and I don't remember it, but at, eventually it was called the Kusanagi, which is one of Japan's three national treasures. And it's kind of a big deal in Japanese culture. 
And this thing is probably intended to be that sword. Um, anyway. Having said that, let's get out of here. It, of course, it doesn't work here. Uh, okay, okay. Well, I'm glad I checked over there, though. It also runs out automatically when you go out of the sand. Oh. I should set my Ginny. There we go. And now I bet I can use escape. Retreat, whatever. Same difference. Glad I waited to do this in its own episode, though. Wow, look at- oh, I'm not dying, I'm just so tired. This freaking guy. If you're going to Izumo, tell my sister that I'm still alive. Man. Um... No. You're the ones... Well, we'll see. We are not Isaac, remember? Unlike some people, <laughs> Felix can actu is actually a little bit humble. At least that's how I play him. And is fairly... Wow. Oh, they're doing like a... I mean, I know it's basically a Harvest Festival. That's not what it's actually called. I mean, what Harvest Festival is actually called a Harvest Festival, though. In... Uh, Germany, the Harvest Festival is Oktoberfest. In Japan, and it's, um, I really can't remember what it's called, but it's the thing they're doing. In the US and Canada, it's called Thanksgiving. And I'm sure there's more examples that I don't know off the top of my head either. Or as well, I suppose. That is slow though. I guess they're celebrating because I killed the dragon. I could just talk to one. Has grown so much to fight for. Okay. The serpent top. What? Zeus is the one to thank for returning peace to our small village. Okay. Yeah, they're celebrating because the serpent was slain. Lady Zuma and the others aren't really blood relatives. D mm. I mean, actually, no. But not because I knew it. <laughs> it's just... It's like, it's sort of like an okay and thing. Seriously though, there's too many sprites. Okay, last time I blamed this on, on Sword of Mana. I still sort of blame Sword of Mana a bit. But it is clear that this is a problem caused by the emulator. We may never know what was responsible for waking the serpent from his slumber. Or at least I think it is. I mean, well, let's be honest here. I'm not 100% whether, sure whether or not it lagged like this on the original GBA. I don't think it did, though. I'm willing to say that it is probably an issue caused by too many sprites combined with the emulator. Like, the emulator probably doesn't handle it very well, which is sort of unfortunate, but not really much I can do about it, unfortunately. Um, which is sort of the definition of unfortunate, actually. I can sell that. Mmm. Let's see, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Now, we need to go talk to what's-her-name. Oh, also, I'm staying in the inn. At your- even though it's highway robbery! Hi. Anyway, we're almost done here. We only need we just need to do like two or three more things. All of them are all of which are in town, and most of which shouldn't take too long. I just need to get up here. Um I need to use this up. I need to I th think I missed something in one of these places. Ah, that's so slow. Yeah, I mean, no matter what is what's causing it, it's clear that there it doesn't like all the sprites down there. Hmm. 
Let's see. There it is. I totally missed this last time. It's a lucky medal! Which is kind of important. I mean, I only have seven of those. That is not very many. Now, I need to go in here. I don't like it how it's not go showing going into the doors properly. Ooh. Warriors appeared from within Mount Mikage? Uh... Sure. Um... I mean... It was actually your brother who finished off the serpent. Indeed. Oh, he did? Hmm. Who indeed? Oh? There can be no doubt. These are the heroes who appeared on Mount Makage. Uh... I mean... I defeated it, but I didn't slay it. Let's, let's put it that way. Yep. He talks for me because I'm too humble to say my to speak for myself. Yep, that, that that's the sign of humbleity. That is definitely not a word. <laughs> Whatever. You what brought us to Good question. Um yeah, that's that's well that's I mean that is definitely one of the reasons we came here. It's probably the most important reason, but to be honest, that is not the chief reason I decided to come here first. Or at least in the order I did, because I, let's be honest, I didn't actually come here first. Move things with mind, to heal, to create. Yep. Yep, that, that would be it. Why did Kraden light up? He is not an adept. Dude cannot use synergy, but apparently he can see it? Man, I don't know. It is not mine alone. Kushinata and Susa possess it as well. Um, yes. Mm-hmm, indeed it'll do. Mm, that's complicated. Yep. Yep, that, that basically sums it up. So you lived after all. Hmm. I mean, pretty much, yeah. Susa, you spoke of a different type of power. Tell me, what did you mean? I can only describe what I saw, my sister. Ask Felix here about it. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't, frankly, I don't feel like doing his talking. So, element, they're not called elementals, they're elements. Seriously, Creighton. Seriously, translation staff, how did you screw that up? Uh, sure they are. Yeah, right on, Kraden. He doesn't know what he's talking about. All existing matter comes from alchemy and this synergy. Well, that is true. However, that there's only four elements is not strict. Is probably not strictly correct. And anyway. Mmm. Yes, that's probably correct. Plus, there's a few things that are just weird, like um, like Force from the last game. It's, as far as I know, Force is the only synergy that has no element at all. Presumably because it's not actually synergy, or at least it wasn't originally synergy. I mean, we're doing it with synergy, but it's different, okay? <laughs> uh, yeah. 
So it would seem. Hmm. Well, we've been to Air's Rock. And there's presumably a... What? Fire and Water Rocks? Hmm. Anyway. Pretty much, yeah. You see, we need them to get into Lemuria. I think, anyway. Actually, to be honest, I don't remember. I know we need them to get some other things we need to enter Lemuria, but I don't know if we need the powers themselves. Anyway, anyway, I'm getting sidetracked here. Um, I mean, not only. Yeah, yeah, I also totally was trying to help him live. Or at least help Kushinita live. <laughs> yep. I mean, I mean, we totally had the serpent defeated. Even if we didn't kill it. Oh yeah, I forgot about the dragon's bane. That's actually totally true. It would have kicked our ass without all that dragon's bane. That, that is, that is objectively true, and I have the video to prove it. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Uh, that is also true. Uh. Oh, I seem to, wait, no, the thing we picked up was the cloud brand? I thought, damn it, damn it. So much for my Kusanagi theory. Also, I said no by mistake. <laughs> I actually meant to agree. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, actually, uh, anyway. Hmm. Not quite. Shut up, Kraden. We aren't done yet. No, no, we're not leaving. Oh, I will. Immediately. Uh, what? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sure, we will return. Again, immediately. Because we aren't actually done here. Hey! Check out this thing! It dances and stuff, and also maybe it's invisible. The dancing doll of Makage. Uh, yes. Yes it is. Um... Yeah, I did actually find it on the peak. Oh? But what could you possibly give to us for this? Yeah, I know what she's gonna give it to us. A... A Marzini. This is actually why I decided to do this. I wanted the Mars Genie. Her, which was apparently her pet, but... Well, it's a Genie. For Jenna, meaning she'll actually be able to use Genie again, if only one. Because or aura, Aura's just too good. At least right now it is. It is admittedly possible there will be a time when I don't care so much about Aura, but... Not for a long while yet. Okay then, and on that note, we got coal! I have no idea what coal does. Boost agility, apparently. Go figure. Anyway, we're done now. And this video is long, so we're gonna stop up here. Join me next time! Excuse me. When we do more stuff! Until then, this has been Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age of Chaos Balloon. Have a good day. Bye!